Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Vladimir Kramnik and Veselin Topalov. This is a game from London, a chess classic tournament played in 2016. Vladimir Kramnik had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. Kramnik loves playing knight to f3. Did you know that? Topalov played d5 g3, g6, bishop to g2, bishop to g7, d4, knight to f6, and both players castled kingside. c4, c5. Is Topalov copycatting Kramnik or what? Maybe not. Maybe he only wants to play Grunfeld defense. d takes on c5, d takes on c4, knight to a3, Black to move. Now Tupalov decided to stop copycatting. C3, breaking the symmetry. This is pretty good move. White to move. Knight to B5. If B takes on C3, Knight to E4 and Black is OK. Kramnik played Knight to B5. C takes on B2. Perhaps knight to a6 should have been considered. And after knight takes on c3, knight takes on c5, killing the pawn, which in the game turned into a monster. Back to our game. c takes on b2. Bishop takes on b2. Bishop to d7, attacking the knight. Queen to b3, bishop to c6, rook from f to d1 attacking the queen, queen to c8, rook from a to c1, knight from b to d7, knight from b to d4 attacking the bishop, rook to d5 attacking the queen, queen to a3, rook to e8, white to move. This is the critical position of the game. White to move. What would you do in this position? if you had white pieces. Kramnik played the strongest move. c6. This is very strong. Knight to b6. If bishop takes on c6, knight takes on c6, pawn takes on c6, knight to d4, and white is much better. What else? If b takes on c6, knight takes on c6, Bishop takes on c6, knight to d4, and again, white is better. So knight to b6 was played. White to move. To take or to push, what would you do? Kramnik played c7. If pawn takes pawn, queen takes on b7, black is okay, believe it or not. However, in this position, knight to e5 would be the strongest move. Other things that would prevent a knight to c4. Back to our game. c7. Knight to c4 attacking the queen. Queen to b4. Knight takes on b2. Queen takes on b2. b6. Queen to a3. e6. And now knight to b5. Threatening knight to d6, forking the queen and the rook. Bishop to f8, stopping that. Queen to b2, attacking the knight. Bishop to g7, queen to d2. There was another very good move available, and that is knight from f to d4. Queen to d2 was played. Queen to d7, attacking the knight. a4, knight to e4, attacking the queen. Queen to f4 a6, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Did you find this brilliant move? It takes knight on e4. a takes on b5. If bishop takes on e4, rook takes queen, a takes on b5, a takes on b5, and white is much better.
a takes on b5 was played, queen to d3 threatening e4. And where is the bishop going? f5 preventing e4. But there is another problem with the position. White to move. White played the move and black resigned. Please pause and find the winning move that Kramnik played in the game. The winning move is knight to g5, black resigned. One line goes like this. Rook from a to c8. Knight takes on e6. And now, if rook takes on e6, then bishop takes on d5 and white is winning. And if bishop takes on e6, queen takes on d7, bishop takes on d7, rook takes bishop, let's say pawn takes pawn, bishop to b7 attacking the rook, a3, bishop takes rook, rook takes bishop, rook to d8, check, rook takes rook, and pawn turns into a monster and massacres all black army. The Palo now wished he killed a monster, but he was only a small pawn. Very early in the game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.